System of equations, word problems. If you have a word problem, mathematical problems, that contain that you're looking for two, value, two values, and you can create two equations for it, then you can solve the problem by using system of equations. Let's take a look at uh, these two examples. The first example, it says tickets to a movie cost $5 for adults and $3 for students. A group of friends purchased 18 tickets for $82. How many adults ticket did they buy? So here we're looking for two, we actually two values are missing. We can just say one of them is X, the other one is Y. X is the number of adults, so adults, X, that we don't know, and Y, number of students that we don't know. But what we know is that uh, the cost for adults is $5 and for students $3. So we know that X, we don't know the number of tickets, but we know that 5X is the cost for adults. Because 5 times the number of adults is the cost for adults. Then we have $3 for students, so it is 3Y. So the cost for the students is 3Y. Why? Because each one is $3 and the number of the students is Y. So 3Y. And together, all together we have 82. So one equation is 5X plus 3Y equals to 82. But we, we know another thing. 18 tickets means that the number of adults plus number of students is 18. Now we have a system of equation. We can solve using different method, but the easiest way to solve them is using the elimination method. That one is 5x3y. Let's multiply both by negative 3 to remove y. So if you multiply everything by negative 3, the the uh, second equation, it becomes negative 3x minus 3y equals to negative 54. Because negative 3 times x plus negative 3 times y is negative 3y equals to negative 54. Now, this equation plus this equation, the result is these two added. So it is 5x plus negative 3x is just 2x. 3y minus 3y is just 0. So equals to 82 plus, plus negative 54. It is 28. So 82 minus 54 is 28. Now we have 2x. x is the number of adults. So 2x is 28, divide both sides by 2, x is, if you divide both sides by 2, x is 14. So number of adults is 14, and we know that the total number is 18, number of students is 4. So this is how many adults? is 14. And if you check your answer, 14 times $5 is $70. And three dollars, we have four students. Four times three is twelve. Plus twelve dollars, the answer is eighty-two dollars. Is that true? Yes, it's provided here. Eighty-two dollars. Let's take a look at the next example. At a store, Eva bought two shirts and five hats. So shirts, two shirts and five hats for one hundred and fifty-four. So we know that the number of shirts. And we know that the number of hats and the price is 154. Nicole bought three same shirts and four same hats for $168. What is the price of each shirt? Okay, let's just put X. X is the number of shirts. And Y, the number of hats and we don't know the value of both but we know that two shirts means 2x 
plus 5 hats 5y is 154 and we know that uh, 3 shirts or 3x plus 4 hats 4y four is 168 now here we have a system of equations the easiest way to solve this we have 2x and 3y 5y and 4y so we cannot remove a variable you cannot use an elimination method just by adding or subtracting two fraction two equations but we can multiply this by negative 3 and this one just by 2 why negative 3 because just making this one negative 6 and that was positive 6 so we will have two more equations two new equations 3 times 2x is the first one is negative 6x minus 15y equals to and that one is 5 times 154 so if you use a calculator just multiply negative 3 times uh, negative 3 times 154 the answer is 462 so and that, that sign is negative so it's negative it's negative 462 now here times 2 is just 6x plus 8y is just multiply that one by 2 168 times 2 the answer is 336 now you can add these two up add these two equation if you add these two equation these two cancel out negative 15y plus 8y is negative 7y equals to now negative 462 462 plus 336 you can use a calculator and the answer is negative 126 if you divide both sides by negative 7 these two cancel out and y equals to if you divide it it is the answer is 126 divided by 7 it is 18 so why we know that why is the price for hat and is $18 why is $18 for hats $18 now if you use one equation let's just choose the first one here 2x so 2x plus 5 times 18 equals to 154 now 2x plus 5 times 18 is 90 equals to 154 now subtract 90 from both sides then 2x is 64 and if you divide both sides is 32 x is 32 dollars or the shirts 32 dollars you can also check your answer by plugging the value of x here in this is equation or this equation just to make sure that the hats are $18 and the shirts are $32.